sir? I can't tell. All I know is that my central light came on, and I just happened to glance and see this thing running across the yard. A uh, good-sized man, or something that looks like a man. I don't know what it was, just that it ran across the yard. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was. Whatever it is, it's running. I couldn't catch it if I was going to chase it. So whatever it was, it was standing up. I'm out here looking through the window now, and I don't see anything. I don't want to go outside. Jesus Christ, you better... Sir? Sure. Uh, up. Hello? Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine, I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. He's right... Is he in your yard, sir? Yeah, God, he's big. Okay, what's he doing in your yard? He's looking at me. Oh, and the guy is on foot. It's... I don't know what... It, 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 it's a big... Real big person. That's all I can say. Okay, but it is a it is a person. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was a person, somebody really big. But he's all in black. He's... Is he a black male or a white male? Did you actually see with it, or was he just wearing black? He's all black and he's big. He is big. What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with another horror-filled episode of Haunt Season. Yes, you guys, this is episode 8 in my Haunt Season series, and we are out here in Lebanon, Tennessee, out on a little two-lane highway known as Sugar Flat Road. Along this little two-lane highway, out here on the outskirts of Lebanon, a horrifying accident occurred on January 5th of 1989. An accident that would either prove the existence of Sasquatch or one great big hoax. It was on a cold, cold night that winter, 1989, when a man was driving his girlfriend home at the time. Now you see, this relationship was rather rather unmatrimonious you see the woman he was seeing she was already married to another man and in 1989 all of this was one great big dirt road well as this man is driving this girl home he is speeding he is going down this two lane dirt road out in the middle of middle tennessee and out of the blue out of nowhere, a giant creature comes running out onto the road. Now what this man describes this creature as, it's a creature that stands about seven feet tall, it's white, and it's ape-like. Before the man could stop, he slammed on his brakes, and his truck slammed into this creature at full force. Now, um, as all this is taking place, he takes a look at the beast, Fearing that he has just run over a human, a person, he throws leaves on it and he gets his lady friend back to her home before her husband could notice that she was gone. Well, this man, he goes back to his home, a little trailer, and he drinks himself so sober on into the early mornings. He does not know if he has hit a person or if he has hit something that he doesn't even know is even human or not so later that morning out on this road right here he comes back and he looks at this mysterious beast now it's not human but at the same time it's not animal like it is a lot like an ape somehow an ape that has been hit well, this man, he goes and he begins to bury the creature. But just as he buries the creature, he takes the head of his axe, not his axe, the head of his shovel, and he rips the head off of the creature and he takes it back into the nearby town of Lebanon where this head is taxidermied. Now this head, it baffles everyone that, that it comes in contact with. They know this is not some fake, or at least a very welly or very well planned hoax. 
and for about 10 15 years it will sit in a nearby antique store until that antique store goes under in about 2014 2015 and then the head will disappear this head will be rediscovered back in about 2015 and for a time it will be on display in chattanooga tennessee which is not far from my hometown however it will disappear again and the next time it will be found at a sideshow this head has been on quite a journey at this point well in 2019 the head is put on display at the lebanon history museum which is just north of us and again this head will baffle everyone that it comes in contact with now sadly this year the head is not on display at the museum i was going to go there today but sadly it had quote unquote been lost once again um so i figured the next best thing to do is to walk out here to sugar flat road and tell the story a time when none of this was here this was all one big dirt road and probably even a one lane highway there was nothing out here so let me ask you this somewhere on this little two lane road out in the country could there perhaps be the remains of the creature of sugar flat road or possibly a bigfoot could it be quite possibly that this could be one of the biggest discoveries of a sasquatch in modern times the world may never know because the head often goes on display and then often goes back into hiding quite often now there is something i also want to add about this story especially in this area um people have often reported losing their dogs and other wildlife for example this is a cow pasture right behind me people would find their cows mutilated as if something had ripped out the thing's throat um dogs would go missing they'd be found in the woods completely dismembered as um, it, it, for some re people it felt like there was an attack or some kind of spiritual attack at, you're going on here and the best way to describe is what they would they would hear these big loud noises coming from the hills of nearby sugar flat road something that sounds just like a sasquatch or at least something that's what people say when they hear a sasquatch sound so you guys for this haunt season this episode i wanted to bring you all out here to what is perhaps either one great hoax or one of the greatest sasquatch finds of modern times but anyway guys this is going to be another vlog remember don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon always means a lot goes to show that y'all care that y'all want to see more awesome videos so without further ado you guys vlog 